Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we are playing with the Sugar Shop palette. This is by Gourmand Girls which uh, is a US indie brand. Look at that packaging, absolutely gorgeous and this is, have I got that in front of you? <laughs> And this is the colour story. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look using this palette and hear my uh, my first impressions, my thoughts at the end, then just keep on watching. So the first colour I'm going in with is Tangerine. This one here. And I'm just using a Made by Mitchell ME3. I've already, I've already primed my eyes with the uh, ABH eye primer. Okay, I can't see any kick up. It does appear to be more of a buildable formula, just going off this first colour. This is a beautiful orange. I think looking at the palette initially, I just saw the, the pinks and the purples and uh, I sat and had to think about it and thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for the orange ones because I haven't done an orange look. From, I don't think I've done an orange look in quite a while, but I do love orange, so correct me if I'm wrong, I've my brain is like mush on all my medication, so I may have done it and forgotten. <laughs> it's definitely blending out easily. No complaints with that. I'm always so excited to try products from uh, from indie brands that are new to me. And then to blend that out, I am going in with Taffy. This one here which looks slightly pinker on camera than it is. I think it's more of a peach. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And then for the outer V and to deepen up in the crease, I'm going in with Blood Orange. And placing this in the outer. Oh, I don't know how much deeper it is. Oh, okay, there it is. It's... They're more buildable, um, I would say, these these shadows like my only worry with this is it's going to get lost blending it into the other orange you know we'll see there's a, a black there should I need it So I am having to really pack this on, but I am loving, I'm loving the uh, payoff. It might take a little bit more effort, but it looks to be worth it. Okay, so I think I do want a bit more deepening up in the outer V. So I am going to go in with 
what's it called? Black licorice. I'm just going to use my Made by Mitchell ME2. It's such a useful brush. So, just gently adding because we don't want to have just a black outer V. We just want the, the little bit of depth. That I'm liking a lot. I'm literally just going in with the tiniest bit at a time because I really don't want this black to take over the look. Okay, I'm back in with the tangerine, the first orange. And I'm just going to go over the edges of where that black has been placed. And then a bit more of the blood orange, the deeper orange there. Just want to kind of almost go in between like to mesh those together a little bit more okay so I'm going to go in on the lower lash line do I want to yeah so I'm going to go in with tangerine and I'm just Kind of taking that under, connecting it up. Hmm, this is looking nice. So I'm just going to dip into the black, black licorice, um, just with a smudger brush. And I'm just going to take that literally right up against my lash line. Just the tiniest bit at a time just to make sure it doesn't overtake the orange. Right, let's get a little brush and then going in with blood orange, the deeper of the oranges. I'm just going to just gonna take that against that black. I am loving this. It's like burnt orange I think I may have unintentionally started a Halloween look who knows we shall see I don't know if it's just because I associate this kind of orange and black together with Halloween but I love Halloween anyway because my birthday comes just before it so I always celebrate on Halloween, which is kind of how it's always done. So there's always been parties everywhere to attend. So I always had a party to go to around my birthday. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking so far. I'm going to nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then come back to continue the look with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so Glitter Primer on. I am firstly going to go in with Strawberry Shortcake. This one there. I did read that right. <laughs> 
and I'm going to place that in the outer part here. Ooh, oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Ooh, okay. This is beautiful. I am loving how that is looking. And on the inner part, I'm going to go in with, oh, which one do I want to go in with? I'm going to go in with marshmallow, I think, or am I going to go in cotton candy? I'm going to go in with cotton candy and that is going to go on the inner part there. Okay. This is pretty. I'm tapping over the line there, the join between the two. And then I'm just going to go back in with a bit of strawberry shortcake just to help blend those together a bit better. I'm loving that. So I'm just going to dip into the black again, black licorice. And I'm just going to bring that back in the outer V a little bit there and just kind of blend it in a bit. So for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with glazed. Ooh. I am loving this. It, this shade is beautiful for inner corner. I'm just taking it under the eye a bit and blending it into the lid shades there. Lid shade? Lid shades? I don't know. This is without any glitter glue or spraying as well because, well, I forgot <laughs> the honest uh, answer, but I'm not mad because it's, uh, it's given me a chance to see what the shimmers can do without a primer. And uh, yeah, this is pretty impressive. And then a bit up under my brow bone there. Under my brow bone? Just under my brow. <laughs> that is looking beautiful. Right, so I'm going to nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look and give you my first impressions on 
the Sugar Shop palette by Gourmand Girls. Gourmand Girls? Gourmand Girls? This palette here. <laughs> so, uh, don't go anywhere. Okay, so I am back with the finished look. What do you think? I'll just let you know what else I have popped on my face and then we'll have a chat about my first impressions. So firstly, the black liner is the Cake It liner from Artitude Cosmetics in the shade Adore. In my waterline, I have the Colourpop Cream Gel liner in the shade Poppy. The mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. So the blush I went in with was Sensitive Sally from Pout and Shout. Really beautiful orange blush that I have hit pan on. So I am so thankful for the highlighter I have. It is the Davina Cosmetics Rapture. And I know it just looks kind of white there, but oh, it's got some, it's got a really nice shift to it. Um, but I have to thank my beautiful friend Anki for this. Thank you so, so much. I love it. And then on to lips. So for the base, I used the Lime Crime Matte Velveteens in the shade Cashmere. And then to make it a little orangey, I went over with the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in Sailor Moon. That's right, isn't it? Yep. In the shade Sailor Moon. The lashes I have on are from Dramatique Boutique. And they're in the style Morgan. I really like these. So the Sugar Shop palette by Gourmand Girls. Firstly, I love this packaging and look at the donuts and the ice creams and the, is that a cupcake? I think that's a cupcake. Anyways, this is beautiful. So the colour story I think is beautiful apart from, well I say apart from, if I were to uh, to change anything it would be macaroon and sugar spun so these two very very pale neutrals there i would have loved to see a green to uh, match the outer packaging um definitely would have loved to have seen that and maybe a a turquoisey blue but so i doubt i am going to use those two shades but apart from those i think this is really beautiful and this one up here strawberry shortcake really surprised me um i'm a bit concerned that velvet cake looks exactly the same oh god i'm gonna have to swatch them now just to i just want to see if they are different ever so slightly ever so slightly different um definitely could have done without one of those because i think on the eye they're going to look the same so where they're so similar i think uh, only one really is needed in the palette i definitely would keep the strawberry shortcake because uh, i really enjoyed that the mattes i i worked with were so easy to blend they were very buildable including the black which is black licorice um I didn't have any problems whatsoever with the with the formulas of any of them that I tried. Um, so yeah, for first impressions, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, and like I've already said, the only thing I would change is these two very neutral shades. And I would take this out and pop in maybe a blue or green shimmer. But that's just my preference. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you tried this? I, I'm i very impressed with the formula. I really, really enjoyed playing with it. So, uh, and I love the look that's come out. I know it does look a bit Halloween-y, but I'm loving it. So that's it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out if you are new round here then i hope you'll consider sticking around i do a lot of colorful makeup looks and i am a huge supporter of indie brands so if that sounds like something that you would be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time i upload so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.